New on AM Extra, Girl Scout cookie season is underway in the Pacific Northwest. Our local troops will be setting up shop around town selling their signature treats. It is the best time of the year. Whether you like Thin Mints, Samoas, or Tagalongs, your purchase of Girl Scout cookies goes a long way to help fund their activities and events all year long. Joining us on the couch with more on this year's cookie season is local troop leader and mom, Sarah. She's joined by her two daughters and Girl Scouts, Zelda and Eudora. Good morning. Thank you guys for being here. Good morning. Thank you. So happy Girl Scout cookie season. Like I said, I get very excited this time of year when I see the Girl Scout cookie boxes start to come out. What is your favorite part of selling Girl Scout cookies? Mm. You gotta say it right into the microphone. Gosh. <laughs> mm. I do like, like, there's a bunch of interesting things you get to see. Like you get to see interesting people, interesting things and there's a bunch of cool th looks on their faces when you give them Girl Scout cookies. All oh, sure. oh yeah. yeah, people love those Girl they Scout very cookies. very excited. Yes. How about you, Eudora? What's your favorite part? Um, I would say my favorite part is meeting interesting people because I actually met Barbara Roberts. At Former a, governor. Yeah, yeah oh. I met her at one of my Girl Scout booths and she and I actually talked. She I've been selling her Girl Scout cookies for a couple years now, and she and I went out to ice cream one time. That's so exciting. Yeah, yeah that Very is. A, cool. So the people you meet, that's a, that's a big part of mm -hmm. it as well. Uh, what is uh, the one activity that you've been able to do from the proceeds from the Girl Scout cookies that have really been good for you? Well, my troop actually... A little while ago, we went on a trip to Southern Oregon where we stayed in tree houses yeah. and we got to go zip lining and horseback riding and it was really fun to do. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Yeah. You know, Sarah, I, as a former Girl Scout myself, some of my favorite summer camp memories, different troop activities were, were from, you know, the funds we were able to raise selling Girl Scout cookies. So just how important is this to what the troop gets to do all year long? This is our number one fundraiser every year. Uh, the bulk of our fundraising money comes from cookies. Um, and it's also, in addition to being a fundraiser, it's an entire entrepreneurship program. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's lots of kids who, you know, sell 100 candy bars for their band, and that helps fund a trip. But the entrepreneurship program encompasses everything from um, Eudora's troop did a whole project one year to evaluate which credit card companies would, would let them keep the most of their proceeds. Ah. And, um, you know, Zelda's troop has, has taken time um, to, you know, practice selling with each other and talking to customers and all of those customer service skills mm -hmm. that are applicable throughout their life. So in addition to being our number one fundraiser, it's also a really amazing entrepreneurship program for young women. Yeah. Yeah, and, and why is that so important to learn some of these skills at such a young age? It, it, it feeds them for the rest of their life. Like one of the amazing things about Girl Scouts is that it, it tackles some of those things where um, in a traditional environment, girls might be subject to gender-based stereotypes. So things like um, science, uh, outdoor skills, um, entrepreneurship, coding and math skills, uh, high adventure sports, things where they might be stereotyped into performing a certain role. Mm -hmm. In Girl Scouts, Girls have all the leadership positions. Mm -hmm. Girls get to do all of the activities, and that's a, that's a freedom that I get to experience in the Girl Scout program. Absolutely. So, which cookie, if you had to pick one, which is your favorite of all the Girl Scout cookies? I know it's a tough choice. <laughs> oh gosh. S'mores. Ooh, the s'mores. The s'mores. Are delicious. Those are good cookies. Yes. Uh huh. And what about you? Yeah, uh, I think my favorite Girl Scout cookie is going to have to be the Samoas, mm. but only just slightly. You, you and Ken both. That's, yeah, that's yeah, we'll give yeah, you some there. Yeah, the Samoas, uh -huh. that's, that's yes. the one right there. I'm, you know, I'm happy to see just about any box show up at my door. I think if I had to pick, it'd be Tagalongs for me. But uh, we want to make sure that, that people know how long is cookie season lasting and, and, and where can people get their cookies? Oh. So right now, girls can go ahead and uh, girls are, are selling door to door taking pre-orders so mm -hmm. if you want to order your cookies and make sure you get all the varieties you want now's the time to find your favorite local girl scout um, and then the girls will start on february 23rd with booth sales so find your local neighborhood grocery store um, the best way to find out one near you is girlscoutcookies.org 
you can put in your zip code and it'll tell you what your local grocery store is. And we will be selling cookies through St. Patrick's Day. March 17th is the last day of the sale. Awesome. Okay. So get them early so they right. don't run out. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They do go fast. <laughs> Sarah, Zelda, Eudora, thank you all for joining us and tell us, telling us about Girl Scout cookie season. This is great. And to learn more about cookie season for the Girl Scouts of Oregon and Southwest Washington, head to their website, girlscoutsosw.org. It is 740.